coming up next year on Ghana Tonight on your election command center. The Electoral Commission of Ghana has certified and earlier today presented all, to all political parties the final voters register. Some 30 days to the December 7 elections. Are the parties satisfied? especially those who raise concerns about the, the issues prior to today and the final register being the, that's presented to them. Now, we understand that there's something crucial happening at the Electoral Commission offices as we speak. And this is some breaking news coming through right now here on Ghana Tonight. Remain your election command center. Now, earlier today, in fact, just some hours ago, the Electoral Commission announced that it had presented to political parties and the presidential candidates what it described then as a significant leap in the upcoming general elections with barely th some 30 days to the polls a final certified voters register according to the electoral commission has been presented to the parties while the contested summary is also being worked on together with the electoral commission leadership and the it team of the electoral commission for the ec chair jen mensa the certified register is fit for purpose. This is what she said earlier today uh, during that Interparty Advisory Committee meeting and together with the, uh, her deputies, flanked by her deputies earlier today. This is the indication she gave. Take a look. Good people of Ghana, and to you our key stakeholders, namely the political parties and the presidential candidates of the 2024 general election to present you with the final certified voters register within a specific time. The purpose of our meeting here this afternoon is to present you with the final certified copies of the 2024 voters register. As you may recall, at our last IPAC meeting held on Tuesday, the 15th of October, 2024, the Commission indicated that it would provide the soft copies of the certified final voters register for the 2024 general election to political parties ahead of time. In fulfillment of that undertaking to you and to the good people of Ghana, we will today, Wednesday the 6th of November, present you with the soft copies of the final certified voters register for the 2024 general election. At the meeting of IPAC on the 15th of October, we indicated that this presentation would be made to you at the end of the first week of November. However, with the help of God, we've been able to do that two days before the 8th, which signifies the end of well, so that's the chair of the Electoral Commission there, Jane Adokwe Mensah, now indicating that they had finished uh, the final register ahead of schedule. Uh, Elliot communicated that it was going to be ready within, after the first week of November, which is just some two or three days away from today. But then again, after this announcement that you just heard, the NDC raised concerns that, look, with the total register you've given to us, there's been precedents that you would have a summary of the details of total number of male, female, and that, that breakdown they did not have. So an exercise that was supposed to be the presentation of the final voters register to the parties, we understand, is ongoing. The IPAC meeting has not ended as we speak. Let's cross over right now live to the offices of the Electoral Commission. My colleague George Quaining is there for us and connecting with us live from the electoral commission's conference room george i see some activity behind you uh, tell us what's going on there thank you so much alfred like you rightly mentioned i'm coming to you live from the electoral commission headquarters and at this meeting of course was convinced to present this very uh specified process when it's the political party but that was done but the NDC opposed it. They had their concerns, uh, led by the Deputy Director of High and Election, Dr. Rashid Sanko from Twitter. He raised some concerns. And so it's a reason that EC has to lay out both five 
waiting for them to bring summary of the certified uh, register. So, for example, is there with me? I know one issue to be raised is the fact that the approach to the certification of, of the report is a certain breach. Can you tell us about that? And and what 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 are you saying right now is uh, what's happening live at the electoral commission? Uh, offices. That's the conference room of the Electoral Commission. In fact, we had a little challenge with the sound there, but this is a, a live coverage of what's happening there right now. Uh, the Electoral Commission is still busy, from what we understand, with that meeting that demand that the NDC asked for and on behalf of the other political parties there, that a summary of the final voters register be made available to the parties, which has always been the case. That's, it's, that's, that's the precedence that's been set over the period. But this year, they were just giving a hard drive, and that's what George was showing us right now, the hard drive containing the final voters register, and, and that's all that the Electoral Commission gave to the parties. And so you have the NDC raise concerns about why the, the, the Electoral Commission is departing from the precedence of making the summary of these, uh, that is where the, the, the details of the final voters register available to the political parties. Now, George, we lost, we lost you. We lost you a, a bit. But uh, what Dr. Rashid Tanko, computer, is the deputy director of IT and elections for the NDC, has been talking to you. What, what's he been saying? Uh, very well. Uh, well uh, we apologize for that um, hitch in the sound there but uh, George Quening is, is now talking to Dr. Rashid Tanko, Computer Deputy Director of IT and Elections for the NDC there. This is live. It's happening right now at the Office of the Electoral Commission, the conference room of the Electoral Commission. And we understand that uh, the, the commissioners and the IT team of the Electoral Commission is working around to try and meet that co concern. And in fact, the request by the NDC for and on behalf of the political parties to have a summary of the, the, that's the final voters register that was presented by the Electoral Commission on that hard drive to them today. Dr. Rashid Tanko, computer, um, if you can hear me. Uh, now, let, let's, let's, let's get into that specific concern that you raised. George, now uh, we see that you're, you're showing us right now what's happening in the, uh, the Electoral Commission's conference room. A number of the political parties have their representatives there still as we speak, some of them you're showing us are, are actually even dozing off right now. But just paint a picture for us, for the benefit of uh, our viewers right now. This is it. This is this is it's happening live right now. The conference room of the Electoral Commission, the political parties representatives are there. They've they've been there since uh, around 2 p.m. today, from the information that we got, and they are still there because the Electoral Commission is yet to meet the demand of a summary of the vote, final voters register as has been uh, presented by the Electoral Commission. So this is what's happening there right now. <laughs> the, the representative number of them are tired, sleeping at the Electoral Commission conference room until they get the summary of the final voters register. George is joining me on the telephone right now. George, now uh, you, you were talking to Dr. Rashid Tanko, computer. If he's there with you, what's he been telling you? Mr. Rashid, let's continue. Before presenting this document, said as paper papers, I'm sure you're questioning that as well. Yes, of course. We, to us, we don't think it's secret paper. 
how can you say that one is such a purpose when it has no statistics, has no summaries uh, to let us know the number of people in it? You are just giving me a, a bulk document and expect me to, to generate it myself. That cannot be the case. If it is easier, they themselves by now would have given it to us. Since four o'clock up till now, they are still locked up there, trying to generate it. So if we haven't, re- if we hadn't raised this objection. Your guess would have been as good as mine. They were going to force on Ghanaians this substandard document they describe as a uh, satisfied by just like that cannot be the case, and we are not going to accept it until we get this one. So, for the concerns of uh, Dr. Rashid, uh, if really these are uh, you know certified uh, register, it means that they can actually quickly generate uh, this summary in a matter of minutes. But the delay is actually questioning the credibility of of our base. Is that what it is? Certainly, that is it, because what is making, making it difficult for them to generate this? Okay, they were talking as if it's just some 20, 30 minutes time. But now we have gone past five hours, and, and it's getting to 11. And up to now, they are still locked up there. That tells you that the document Madame was presenting was not a full document, it was a substandard one. So Dr. Rashid, Kanko Computer, is representing the NDC, and I see Imas Nimaku, who is the director of the elections, of the MPP also here representing the, the party and some reps from other political parties. And so this is the live results from the conference from the Electoral Commission. Um, media is also present here uh, waiting uh, what the EC uh, has to offer, which is in terms of the summary of the certified voters register that has been presented to the political parties. Let me see if I can talk to Mr. Nimako. Mr. Nimako? Mr. Nimako, good evening. Yeah, Mr. Nimaku says he will talk after, you know, the EC, uh, you know, brings the summary of the uh, certified voters register. So these are live shots from the, you can see Dr. Bosman and, and, and the visuals as well. Right. Uh, you the microphones as well. well uh, all right, George, and we see that some of them visibly tired there. Uh, with their heads on the table, sleeping. Uh, are these uh, political party representatives as well? These are representatives of political parties who are here, like 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 Dr. Rashid said, we've been here for more than six hours awaiting the election commission to, to give us this you know, summary. But I would want to engage some reps from political parties. Can I talk to you? This is TV3, Ghana to Nigeria Live. You've been here for more than five hours awaiting the summary. Okay, so we can talk. So let's talk to your point. Because we have more than five hours. And what do you come to in terms of the credibility of the new commission? Um, to be honest with you, I'm disappointed because, um, like you rightly stated, we came here. We came here around four four o'clock. Um, I think the meeting commenced around four thirty p.m. And um, the chairperson, um, of course, informed us of the readiness of the register, for which she even, you know, used the what they call the gavel to certify. Basically, then she said that was the final register. But we are the view that, in any case, you are giving us data. At least give us a summary of it. Give us something. That when I get out there, out there, before I even touch the device, I know that of the two of, I know that this is what is being given me. If I walk out there and somebody calls me and asks, uh, how many registered voters do we have in Ghana as of now? What would I say? At least the basis, the number of registered voters in the country. I mean, if you can give the original breakdown. We need to even know the number of polling stations that have been created that people are going to vote. As it is now, none of these has been provided. And we are here, it's getting now 10 30. So basically, six, six hours. We are here, they just gave us some snacks, nothing. You, 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 you understand? So what is even worrying is the fact that they are not even communicating. They are not telling us. It took Madame Jean Mensah three hours for her to come down and tell us that they are still working on it, and then she went back. And I've just been told that, uh, I don't know, one of the commissioners also said they are going to hold us here for some time. I mean, look at this. 
so, so, so these are concerns from political parties here, yeah? and clearly you're not bargaining. It will take days. They will still have to wait uh, for that uh, summary to be provided by the National Commission. But that was one of the words from the NDC. But you also have the director of elections of the CPP here with me. Uh, let's know what your concerns are as a party. Uh, but you've been here for more than five hours. You're waiting for the summary. How critical is this document? Well, yeah, the document is indeed critical. And uh, as a body, uh, IFAC is the body that is made out of uh, political parties and then the electoral commission. And it's all about consensus building. In fact, I think when we came in, the electoral, uh, the chairperson made a brief presentation and then we're supposed to be given the right. final uh, document, which is the final register. Right. Now, we were thinking that at that stage, Right. And, Being and it, it may, we should be able to get a certain synopsis or bullet points out of the presentation, which will state that the number of voters, total voters we have in this country, various breakdown. Those are just going to give us synopsis. But I think they were not ready yet, but they made it in the, in the, in the, pre, in the preamble, in their earlier submission, they made a statement that oh, they are giving us this whole register that is final, but they're going to give us the statistics, break down regional constituency all the way to the polling station, so it will make it easier for us to be able to navigate around the figures. But, I mean, some of us are concerned is, yes, we will wait. Already, we've been waiting for how many hours now? But we were thinking that if they knew that we were going to go into this and it would take some time, why the need for this meeting this evening? They should have waited. Actually, they're still working within the time that the CI, they have 21 days Right. And, 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 and George, they gave us a, a thank you. Days. Thank you very much for that. And and clearly uh, that uh, encapsulates the the frustration that the political parties are expressing there. And what you've been seeing over the last at least 10 minutes we've been showing you here on Ghana tonight is live videos. In fact, it's a live videos from the Electoral Commission is ongoing right now. At the conference room of the Electoral Commission, a number of the political parties representative, they've been there for well over six hours waiting for a summarized final voters register as promised by the Electoral Commission at that IPAC meeting earlier today. The NDC made that demand. The Electoral Commission is still working with their IT people to make that demand as it were, to fulfill that demand and question from the NDC. But it stands to reason, fundamental question is, how long they're going to be able to wait for this? It's almost 11 p.m. right now, but George Quinnen is our man there here on your election command center. We're going to be updating you every step of the way. This is what's happening. And we're doing the countdown exactly 31 days away from today, December 7, on your election command center.